Hello, my dear learners, you are most welcome to Revision Uganda. Uh, our new chapter, our new topic is business mathematics. So we are going to look at business, uh, whereby in business we are going to involve calculations. We have to calculate so that our businesses uh, do prosper. Uh, under this topic, we are going to look at subtopics. There are going to be a few, but we are going to uh, discuss them fully. One, we are going to start with what we call quantities. Uh, we are going to look at uh, quantities and costs. Mm. We are going to look at quantities and costs. How much and how many do I need? Uh, from there, uh, after looking at that, we shall also look at another. One. Uh, this is going to be currency uh, exchange. Uh, currency exchange. If a businessman, you are you are exporting things from uh, to to another country, then they are using different currencies. So how do you exchange? You are from Kenya. You are you are buying from Kenya, bringing to Uganda. So you are using Kenyan currency. Then when you come to Uganda, you change again to Ugandan currency. So we are going to look at also that. Uh, in two details and how do we do it as businessmen so that we avoid ch uh, being cheated and then as we do business we do expect to see or to earn the profits and the losses so we have to be eager to calculate the profits and the loss all of those we are going to find them under this big topic a uh, business mathematics we see the profits are we making profits is the business uh, progressing or we are making losses then uh, after that, we shall look at the discounts. You know, uh, customers need discounts, and our workers uh, need also commissions. So we need to know how to give discounts and how to give commissions. So under here, we are going to be able to calculate or to give discounts in our businesses as we do uh, move on. Uh, after that, we are going to look at. Uh, another subtopic that will be number five. It's going to be a simple interest. I uh, shall look at the simple interest and compound interest. Uh, briefly about this one. Uh, as businessmen, we can't deal away without loans. Oh, we can't deal away. We can either get loans or we can give loans. But as we give loans, we do expect interest. We do expect either simple interest or at a large scale the compound interest so as we are doing businesses uh, we have to be eager because at one time we are going to be businessmen so we need to be uh, in position of calculating the simple interests and the compound interest we are earning so we under this under this subtopic we need to know how do the banks uh, do earn interest and which bank is better for your business uh, when it comes to counting or to getting the interests uh, then from there we shall look at what we call higher purchase uh, not all our clients in our businesses can uh, afford to take things or to pay at once so uh, we need to get what we call the higher purchase and we need how to know how to calculate for how long and after how long will I earn this amount of money if I say it at her purchase and then lastly um, as we are also doing business but we have to give back to our government we are going to look at taxation so as we are doing business any business in Uganda which is registered it has to pay tax everything we are using water uh, food you do buy the polyphenes the shoes you buy there is tax so the things you buy from other countries you bring them into Uganda so there is a tax uh, you have to pay so we need to be in a position to calculate how much if I'm to uh, buy this one um, uh, from another country into Uganda then how much tax am I going to pay then how much I am I supposed to sell it so under this topic we are going to discuss very interesting aspects as business people or business men now again my learners the business men because this this topic is for business people um, so we have seen what we are going to, to cover uh, under this big topic the business mathematics so we are going to start with our uh, first uh, subtopic and this is quantities we are going to look at quantities and uh, their costs 
Uh, so under here we are going to, uh, to deal with the measurements one we are going to deal with majorly uh, the measurements we need to know how to measure if you measure and we sell those are the costs uh, so the measurements um, uh, one of the measurements we are going to look at the weight so here we have to do a vast with weight uh, kilograms grams milligrams decagrams we change from kilograms to uh, grams milligrams to decagrams and uh, we sell so another measurement we shall look at that is the length uh, we shall look at also what you call length and length is mainly measured in meters we have centimeters we have kilometers we have hectares so and so on so we have to be well versed with um, the length are uh, the measurements in length how many meters are in one centimeter in one kilometer in decameter in square meter in one hectare and so on um, another measurement which we are going to look at under this um, quantities and costs we are going to look at volumes mm. uh, volumes uh, of some uh, liquids either liquids um, or gases we need to know one liter how much um, centimeters we get from it then uh, and so on and again we shall look at areas uh, we shall look at areas remember area is measured in a square square units like uh, meters squared centimeter squared kilometer squared we have uh, millimeter uh, we have decameter squared and so on so my dear learners uh, this is what we are going to look at under quantities and costs so let us start with our first uh -huh. My dear learners, after you've understood all what you're going to deal with under this topic, so our first subtopic, as I've explained earlier, it's quantities and costs. So let us start with our first example and we see. Uh, our first example is saying sugar is packed in bags of 50 kilograms. Mm -hmm. So we have to take a note of the measurements because you're looking at measurements. So we are having kilograms. So sugar is being packed in bags and each bag is uh, of 50 kilograms. Then how many bags are needed for 12 tons? Mm -hmm. So how many bags are needed uh, for 12 bags of sugar? So as a good learner, as a businessman, uh, then we have to get to know that now we are having two different uh, measurements or in uh, two different units in different measurements. So we are having kilograms and we are having tons. So as a good learner, what comes into your minds? We have to create one unit. We either change from kilograms to tons or from a ton to a kilogram. But I urge you to change from the biggest to the smallest. So a ton is bigger than a kilogram. So we have to go back to our leading statement and we get to know how many tons, how many kilograms are within one a ton. So we have to write our leading statement. So our leading statement we just say one ton, just one ton. Uh, it's equivalent to 1,000 kilograms. So once you get 1,000 kilograms, you are making one ton. But again now, if you come back to the question, the question is giving us 12 tons. Then how many kilograms can we get from 12 tons? So we shall come back here and say, if one ton is equivalent to 1,000 kilograms, how about the 12 tons they are talking of? Then they are going to give us uh, before we do any other, any other thing further, I want you to understand a simple trick that is inverted L. The moment we are doing uh, these measurements and we are converting from one, one unit to another, we have to remember what we call the inverted L. Uh, the inverted L. So it's uh, this one, inverted L from down here, we come up, then we end here. So meaning that this is down, then up. We come back here so this is our inverted l so once i reach here i'm going to use what we call inverted l so don't be confused where we are going when i say now we are using inverted l so let us uh, see how the inverted l works uh one ton is equivalent to one one thousand kilogram then 12 tons we are going to use now the inverted l we start from down that is uh 12 out of now we are going up that is out of 
one that is one turn then times the other one, the, 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 uh, to the right that is times a thousand then all over this one it is in now kilograms then we shall come up with uh, this is it will give us 12,000 kilograms meaning that in one in 12 turns we get 12,000 kilograms now back to the question we have converted and we have uniform units then we come back to the question the question is asking for the number of bags we can get from 12 tons which we know now they are 1,000 uh, 12,000 kilograms then we come here and write our leading statement now in terms of bags uh, one bag here uh, it carries or it is filled by 50 kilograms of sugar Meaning that now we are changing from uh, kilograms to bags. Then we are going to interchange it. Uh, it will say 50 kilograms. For every 50 kilograms you make, you are making one bag. Then how many kilograms are you having? You are going to pack. You are, you are having um, 12,000 kilograms. Come back once again here. 50 kilograms make up one bag. Then how about 1,000? 12,000 kilograms. We are using inverted L. It will be 12,000 out of the 50 uh, times the 1. Now they are in the units of what? Bags. Then this is a 0 by 0. So by 5 we get a 1. Then how many 5s are in 12? We are having 2 5s. Remainder a 2 because it's a 10. Then how many 5s are in 20? They are 4. Then with this 0. So we come up with 240 bags um we conclude and say there are four um 240 bags of sugar can be packed uh packed from 12 tons uh -huh. let us continue uh -huh. So let us continue. Number two, it is state saying a farmer estimated the average yield of his cereal crops to be three bags of grain per 250 square meters. Sorry, this one is meters squared, square meters. Uh, a farmer estimated the average yield of his cereal crops to be three bags of grain per 250 square meters. If his cereal if he, his cereal is filled, he, if his cereal field was 4.5 hectares, mm -hmm. we are having hectares as a good learner now we know. Here we are in square meters and again they are talking about hectares. So remember we are looking at quantities and measurements so we have to create the same units. We have to bear that one in mind that the units must be the same. So we are comparing, we are having meters, square meters and hectares. Uh, estimate the number of bags of grain he obtained. Therefore, our first statement is to convert the units to create the same units. Then we are comparing meters and hectares. So, uh, an hectare is bigger than a meter, a square meter. Therefore, we have to write our leading statement and say one hectare, I'm going to abbreviate it as heck, one hectare is equivalent to 10,000 square meters meaning that one hectare it is 100 meters by 100 meters so it is 100 meters by 100 meters which gives us 10,000 square meters therefore one hectare is equivalent to 10,000 square meters then we come and see how many hectares did this farmer uh, had the farmer had 4.5 hectares then how many square meters can we get from 4.5 then 4.5 hectares are going to give us remember inverted L it will be 4.5 uh, sorry so it will be 4.5 out of one the other one inverted L then times the 10,000 square meters uh, then here we are going to have now this is equivalent to 4.5 then we add on how many zeros 1 2 3 4 uh, 1 2 3 4 so we make the decimal point move uh, it comes here then here then here then eventually here therefore it will be 4 5 0 0 0 so square meters we have 45,000 square meters 
then we have converted then we come now again uh, 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 again here to answer the question which is saying how many estimate the number of bags of grain he obtained if he had a uh, four five zero zero square hectares but remember they told us three bags here um he gets them from two five square meters then we are going to write and say uh, two five two hundred fifty square meters a farmer gets three bags then how about four five uh how about uh four thousand forty five thousand square meters remember we are using inverted l i think i explained that one so from here we come up here then lastly here then it will be now uh four five zero 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 all over 250 why don't we put the units because already they have cancelled then times the three in terms of bags then this is zero with that one with this one then um by five we get a five by five here we get a nine this one that's a 90 then by five one then how many fives are in nine we have one five i remain a four then here we get an eight then with a zero so we are having uh, then we have 180 times our 3 which remained here then 3 by 0 is 0 3 by 8 that is a 4 uh, with, uh, that is 24 then we put here a 2 then 3 by 1 3 plus this one 5 there are 4 550 bags so we conclude and say uh, there are 4 a farmer got 540 bags of grain uh, of grain from um from 4.5 hectares